What's up guys, Greeny, coming to you from freezing ass Michigan. And I'm getting ready to come back to Thailand. So I've been working on this Thailand pass. I did two of them already, one for my son and one for myself. And because of some of our information that's a little different, we got our results in a different amount of times, different times, different time periods. I got mine in one day. My results, bam, got approved in one day. Took him a week. I'm gonna tell you guys about it. I'm gonna let you know why I think this was the issue with this. I'm gonna walk you through all the steps of applying for a Thailand pass. I'm gonna tell you about the ASQ SHA Plus hotels and uh, let's get into it. All right guys, before we get too far into this video, I gotta ask you for two favors. The first one is, please subscribe. The second one is, a lot of you guys have commented on my name change, Greeny Travels, Retire Like a King, and I told everybody I'm gonna kinda debate it and decide at the end of the year if I'm gonna keep Retire Like a King, go back to Greeny Travels, but I want you guys to leave a comment and tell me which name you like better, Retire Like a King or Greeny Travels. If you can just take a minute to do that, take a minute to subscribe to the channel, you'll have my full appreciation. So, let's get into it. Last week, I applied for uh, two Thailand passes, one for me and one for my son. My son's 22. He's going to come back to Thailand with me for like a month for a vacation. And then, you know, he's going to come home. But obviously, I'm going to stay there and get whatever visa I'm going to get, either the O or the uh, Thailand Elite, whatever, whichever one I'm going to get. I'm not sure yet. So there were a few things I had to do before actually applying for the Thailand pass. One was I had to prove that I had at least $50,000 worth of insurance and I had to be covered for COVID. Number two is I had to have my airfare, which I already had my airfare, paid my airlines, had my ticket, had my itinerary. I had to get that for my son for his application. So I went and got that. Third thing is I had to have my accommodations for the SHA Plus um, hotel room. What they do is they come and pick you up at the airport, they take you to the hotel, they give you a test, you gotta stay at this hotel one night. It's an elevated cost. I think mine was about 5,000 out of night, I had to get a room for me and a room for my kid. I don't think we could have stayed in the same room. I don't know. It says there's a family rate, but whatever. I just got him his own room. And um, I'm going to show you the uh, website for that and walk you through that process right now. Okay, so the website I used to find uh, an SHA hotel, SHA Plus, or a uh, ASQ hotel is the tiest. And this is the same website I used to um, locate the hotel when I first came to Thailand to quarantine about a year ago. So if you just go down here, there's AQ Hotels for quarantine, uh, Thailand SHA Plus, an alternative, what's included, how long do I stay. And uh, if you just go down here, you'll see it gives you all these different uh, hotels that are given the test. One night test and go, 5,500 baht. 7700 baht so what you do is you just find the one you want to go to and then you're probably going to end up emailing them direct and they'll send you all the information you'll have to provide your uh, flight information your passport your covid vaccine certificate and uh, then you're gonna have to pay in advance and uh, so they'll pick you up at the airport and you'll be all set they'll give you the covid test and, and that's what you got to do for that part of it so once that's done, you can go ahead and apply for the Thailand Pass. I want to show you this first time I tried on Chrome and it doesn't work. You get to a certain point and it just it just doesn't work anymore. You can't get past the certain point. So I had to switch to Safari. Let me let me show you that real quick. Let's go through this and I'll show you guys how to fill out the Thailand Pass. Click here. Just walk you through everything right here. Non ties, English language. And you want to do this one on the left, the test and go. This is the documents you need your passport, Thai visa, certificate of vaccination, paid ASQ, and your insurance. Just got to confirm everything's the truth. All right. So here we go, purpose. I just put travel, departure city area, let's say USA, 
Port of Arrival, Savannah Boone, flight number, we'll just make something up, UA615, we'll just say, date of arrival. I'm just gonna go through this and make everything up. Hopefully it lets me do this. Uh, we'll just say December 8th, estimated date, we'll just say December 30th, okay? So register. You gotta confirm that you can comply with everything. All right, we're gonna say we're Mr. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the name John Doe for this. Email, one, two, three, four, GGG. All right, so just make up an email here for this purposes. Occupation, I'm gonna say retired. Type of passport, ordinary. Passport number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now we're gonna browse a file. You can see some of these files that I have here will not work. Um, it has to be a screenshot. Like, it's kind of weird. It's kind of funky, it won't accept these PDFs. So that's one of the glitches here. Browse a file, go to desktop. And we'll do one of my screenshots of some crazy thing I have. Okay. Probably don't want to see you recovered. You just want to put your vaccine certificate in. And so here's where the problem came in. This came, this was the problem for me before. It doesn't work on Chrome. You can't you can't put your type of vaccine in. See, select, and it says select. All right. So right here, I got to stop. Just want to show you guys that this was on Chrome. So I'm getting out of Chrome now. Okay, so I'm on Safari now. Uh, instead of Chrome, now I'm using Safari. And again, English language, non-tinational, exemption from quarantine all the way on your left here. Okay, so now you'll see on this one, when you scroll, it actually works, all right? And uh, we'll see this right here, uh, Cormidity, that's the one that they gave me in Thailand. I had it in August uh, 25th. And then you got to drag and do the file. So I'm just going to do the same thing again with just some random screenshot that I have just so I can keep going. And then you got to do your vaccine certificate. You have to upload those on both. Like I said, it has to be a screenshot or some, like maybe if you take a picture of it and do it, but PDFs don't work. All right, so it asks you this other question, add QR code of certification, vaccine certification to get faster results. So let me show you how to do this real quick. And uh, we're gonna get out of this for one second. I'm gonna show you how to do that screenshot. So when you have a screenshot, so here's a QR code for instance. So you hit command, shift, and four, and you see like it changes the cursor to like this, this thing, and then you just go like that, and that takes a screenshot of it. Actually, of just the part you want. If you do, if you do command, shift, three, that will screenshot everything on it. If you do command, shift, four, then you can just take that cursor and go around what you want to do and just put that in it. So let's go back to Safari. And now we're going to browse file. Okay. And I'm going to go to my little screenshot and look at that right there. It's in there. And let me tell you, I'll tell you at the end what happens when you put this, uh, when you put this QR code in here. Because I did two of these, and I'll tell you about that. All right, so we're almost done. Uh, I'll just go through this real quick. So here you do your, your I, I was gonna do SHJ Plus, Bangkok, accommodation name. Oh, now they have all the names, and I had to type it in before. So we'll just say Chillax. And I guess that gives you the address here. Now before, I had to put the address in and put all that other stuff in. Just make that in. We'll check in. I already forgot what day I'm going. Did I say the 6th? 
check out. We'll say the eighth, whatever. Drop and drag files. So this is, uh, the hotel is gonna send you a confirmation. You're gonna add that. I'm just doing random stuff. Overseas address, one, two, three, whatever. You know, whatever. Say you're going to uh, Phuket. Blah, blah, blah. Phone number, you know, if you got a Thai number, uh, zero, Three, uh, zero, one, 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 two, three, four. Just say so you get that. Emergency contact, Joe Blow. Joe Blow's mobile number. We'll just say, we'll say one, two, four, eight, nine, 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 nine. I'm just making all this up just to show you guys. Just going through this. Insurance policy number. We'll just make something up. Minimum yes, minimum yes, effective date. And then we'll just say it's effective December 1st. And then you're gonna have to upload that. Again, I'm just, another random screenshot I got on my computer. And then other countries you visit, I'm just leaving it with America. I'm not gonna add any more. Additional documents, none. Submit. And then it gives you an access code for logging in. And that's it, you hold on to that access code and you're good to go. All right guys, so what I learned from this, just a few tips that I think will help you out with the Thailand Pass is A, if you have a QR code, you'll get approved so much faster. So I had a QR code, my vaccine certificate was from Thailand and there's a QR code on it. So I had a copy of it on my computer. I showed you guys how to uh, cut that out and did that and I was approved in one day. My son, who had the one from America, from the CDC, does not have a QR code. And like I said, it took an entire week for him to get his results. So I don't know different countries if there's a QR code or not, but if there is, definitely put it in there. It's gonna speed everything up. Uh, number two, like I said, once you get to that certain point, it's not gonna work on Chrome. So make sure you use uh, um, Safari. And I don't know if Explorer works, I didn't try that one. Another thing is they say to use Gmail use Yahoo, a lot of people have issues. So if you have a Gmail account, use that one. As far as other emails, I'm not really sure. All right, guys, so hopefully this short video uh, will be of help to you. I wish I could have watched the video on how to do it before I did it, because I went through it and messed it up a couple times and whatever. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Greeny out.